Hello, I'm Kerry Ann Mendoza, editor at large of The Canary, and this will be the very final time that I introduce anything with those words because the reason for this video today is to let you all know that as of the end of July, I will be leaving my beloved Canary. Um, I wanted to do a video for you so that I could, as close as possible, get to a face to face goodbye um, given the crazy times that we're living in. Um, the reason for my leaving is personal and simple. Uh, as many of you will know, I have been in a recovery process from PTSD um, due to past trauma and abuse for several years now. And I am at the most peace internally that I have ever been and I want to continue that recovery process. And what I've learned in the past year is that in order to do that, I cannot be on the front line. It's time for me to take a step back and just focus on recovery for the time being. And as tough a decision as that has been, it's also an incredibly liberating one. And I could not have made it without the support, the love and the encouragement of the entire team at The Canary. It's by design that you see me most of the time. Um, my job is to be the face of the Canary, but obviously the Canary is a big team and it's full of people who make incredible contributions to our world and they will continue to do that. So I really would ask that you continue to support the Canary, continue to support that extraordinary team who have been through hell and back this last five years and are still fighting. It's really hard to believe what we've achieved in the past six years and it sounds like something out of a fairy tale or a movie or something. We had a conversation in a pub in 2014 about the state of the media and how ridiculously biased and right wing it was and how we'd never get a transformational government in this country unless we changed the media landscape. And a year later we'd set up our own media outlet with 500 pounds. You know, we had no money, no connections, no nothing. And we set out to challenge the most powerful and wealthy people, not just in our country, but around the world. And we did it. We have become the biggest pain in the backside to the worst people on the planet. And I cannot tell you how proud I am about that. And I'm proud of every single canary that has helped us along the way. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of everyone out there who, you know, when, people who really should know better did everything they could to tell you that we were some crackpot lunatics you know conspiracy theorists and everything else you didn't get taken in by it i i i feel like this whole process has really separated the wheat from the chaff in that regard it separated the people who talk the talk from the people who walk the walk and i salute respect and honor each and every one of you who has stepped out of that nonsense, that prejudice, that bigotry, that supremacy that pervades much of England today and have actually stepped away from it and become something bigger and broader and better is so inspirational and it inspires me every day. So I really hope I can be an example and that if you are feeling burnt out, exhausted, or you're in a recovery process yourself, or you really need to be in one and you aren't, that you take the time to. I know it's difficult, believe me. I know it's not just difficult emotionally, it's difficult logistically. You know, you have to make big changes sometimes in your life to accommodate the space and energy required to heal fully from being hurt this deeply. I'm happy to make that space because now I've learned that I actually deserve that space and so do you. So if you're watching it on the edge, take the time for yourself, you deserve it too. Um, this is a marathon, it's not a sprint and each of us should be able to step away and heal when we need to and rejoin the fray when we're ready for it and when we're hungry for it. And I have every intention of doing that. Until then, I would love it if you please continue to support The Canary. More broadly, please continue to support independent media. One of the most extraordinary things for me about this past six years has been being a part of a movement of independent journalists. 
it wasn't just the canary there's squawk box there's dorset eye there's evolve politics there are so many other outlets that have joined this fight to disrupt the disinformation that is having so many people vote not only against other people's interests but in many cases even against their own this has to change and it will only change with all of us working together i will be back to help i hope in the near future but until then you take care of yourselves goodbye <laughs>